Hello, this is not your chem tutor, and in this video, I will teach you how to convert molarity to mass percent and vice versa. So before you continue this video, make sure that you already know or you are familiar with molarity and mass percent. If not, then don't worry. I made separate videos and you can check them using the links on the description box. As usual, I put examples so you can practice some calculations. Now let's have a quick recap about mass percent and molarity. Mass percent is also known as percent by mass or weight percent or percent by weight or you can encounter symbols like percent M over M or percent W over W. The formula for mass percent is mass of solute divided by mass of solution times 100. Now here's another way to look at mass percent. What does the word percent mean? Cent means 100, so percent means per 100. So mass percent is mass of solute per 100 grams of solution. So I will give you an example. Let's say you have 40% by mass of NaCl. This means you have 40 grams of NaCl per 100 grams of solution. And when you say you have, example, 25% by weight of NaCl, this means that per 100 grams of solution, it contains 25 grams of NaCl, which is the solute. Now let's move on to molarity. The formula for molarity is moles of solute divided by liter of solution. So the unit for molarity is moles per liter or capital M. Capital M stands for molar, which is also equivalent to moles per liter. So for example, when you are given 2.0 molar of NaCl, this means that for every 1 liter of solution, it contains 2.0 moles of NaCl, which is the solute. Another example, if you are given, let's say, 1.5 molar of NaCl, this means that for every 1 liter of solution, you have 1.5 moles of NaCl. You need the following to convert molarity to mass percent and vice versa. Number one is the molar mass of solute. So if the molar mass or the molecular weight is not given in the problem, then you need to compute it on your own. If you don't know how to compute molar mass or molecular weight, don't worry, I made a separate video and you can check that using the link on the description box. And number two, you need the density of solution. Density must be given or must be provided in the problem. Okay? Let's try example one. The concentration of glucose in a solution is 1.2 molar. The density of the solution is 1.05 grams per ml. What is the mass percent concentration of glucose? So in this problem, we are given the molar concentration, which is 1.2 molar, and we will convert this to mass percent. Remember what I told you a while ago? When you say 1.2 molar, this is equivalent to 1.2 moles of solute, which is glucose, per 1 liter of solution. 
Now, let's start the conversion. First, you need to convert 1.2 moles of glucose into grams of glucose. So, 1.2 moles of glucose We need the molar mass of glucose, which is given in the problem, 180.156 grams per mole. So you put one mole of glucose on the bottom, and above, you put 180.156 grams of glucose. So moles of glucose will cancel. Now you have 1.2 times 180.156. This is equal to 216.1872. And the unit is grams of glucose. So please take note of this number. This is your mass of glucose or your grams of glucose. Next, we have one liter of solution. You convert this first to ml of solution. So we know that one liter is equivalent to 1,000 ml. So liters of solution will cancel. Now you have ML of solution. Then you use the density which is given in the problem to convert ML of solution to grams of solution. So according to the density given, 1 ML of solution is equivalent to 1.05 grams of solution. So ML of solution will cancel. Now you have grams of solution. And if you solve this in your calculator, this is equal to 1,050 grams of solution. So please take note of this number. This is the mass of solution or your grams of solution. Now that we have the grams of glucose and grams of solution, we can use the formula for mass percent, this one. According to the formula, mass percent is equal to mass of solute, which is 216.1872 grams, divided by Mass of solution, which is 1,050 grams times 100. And if you compute this in your calculator, 216.1872 divided by 1,050 times 100, this is approximately equal to 20.6%. By mass. So the answer to this question is 20.6% by mass. For the second example, the concentration of acetic acid in a vinegar sample is 5% by mass. The density of the vinegar sample is 1.10 grams per ml. What is the molar concentration of acetic acid? So in this problem, we are given mass percent. So 5% by mass. And we will convert this to molarity. If you can remember, I told you a while ago, when you say percent, that's per 100 grams of solution. So when you have 5% of acetic acid, this means that for every 100 grams of solution, it contains 5.00 grams 
of acetic acid. Now, let's start the conversion. First, you need to convert 5 grams of acetic acid to moles. So, 5 grams of acetic acid. We are given the molar mass, 60.052 grams per mole. So, you put 60.052 grams on the bottom, and on top, you put 1 mole. So, grams of acetic acid will cancel, and the unit now is moles of acetic acid. If you solve this in your calculator, 5 divided by 60.052, this is approximately equal to 0 0.08326 moles of acetic acid. Next, we have 100 grams of solution. First, you convert grams of solution to ml of solution using the given density, which is 1.10 grams per ml. This means that 1 ml of solution weighs 1.10 grams. So grams of solution will cancel. Now you have ml of solution. And then you convert ml of solution to liters. We know that 1 liter is equivalent to 1,000 ml. So ml of solution will cancel. Now you have liters of solution. And if you solve this in your calculator, this is equal to 0 0.0909 liters of solution. Now that you have the moles of acetic acid and the liters of solution, you can now compute for molarity. This is the formula for molarity. It is equal to moles of solute so 0 0.08326 moles divided by the liter of solution, 0 0.0909 liters. And if you solve this in your calculator, 0 0.08326 divided by 0 0.0909, this is approximately equal to 0. 916 and the unit is moles per liter or 0 0.916 molar. This is the answer to the question.